Jesus. Okay. Hi. Jesus. Empties, snacks, and hot drinks. Um, I started to film this on my phone, and because we filmed all the other ones without posting and deleting, my phone was like, I'm full. Camera's over here, by the way. Yes, I know. Okay, yes. Tow it. We, you guys have seen this before. This is the Trader Joe's Crispy Crunchy Broccoli Florets. Can we see? Uh, okay. As you, what do you I think about broccoli, sure. River? Do you like broccoli? Yeah. Do you wish there were some in that package? Yes. Are you sad that there's not? Say, I love broccoli. <laughs> I love broccoli. So I've got to get her some more of this because she is absolutely in love with this stuff. In addition, this little frogalina loves, they don't have to be Trader Joe's brand, but Trader Joe's contemplates inner peas. These are dried peas. Um, don't have to be Trader Joe's brand. She likes other brands. She even had wasabi ranch ones one day and liked them. She's had cheddar ones. She doesn't care if they're crunchy peas. She likes them. What do you think about these? Uh, are they yummy? Yes. Are they good? Uh -huh. Do you like them a lot? Uh -huh. Do you love them? I love them. Are you sad that they're empty? Dead. Dead. <laughs> so yeah. Empty. I've got to get her some more of those. Um, they did have like the brand name ones at Aldi's. My mom's uh, getting them, but they don't have those anymore. They do have like the small packets of the wasabi ranch ones at Dollar Tree and. Weirdo yes, likes them. Okay, let's yes, see here. This from Trader Joe's Nantucket uh, style cranberry pie. Oh no. This was really good. Really, I ate most of it myself. It really not good. all in one sitting. This was delicious. I love this and would consider getting it again. It's not a must have. I wish it was bigger no, though. Why don't what did you think here? I want my French apple Hi. tart back. No, it, it was well made. I just don't like cranberry. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm basically the only person that ate that. I can't believe this month is already over. It felt like it was dragging, and now suddenly it's the end of it. Um. What did you do? You guys have seen me talk about these, thank you, before too. These are the Kraft Jet Puff Rainbow Mallow Bits. These are wonderful for putting in hot chocolate. It's basically, well, if you get the... First time I got the little white ones, and they look like the marshmallows that come in hot chocolate packets, and I found them in the hot drink aisle. Yes, she's adorable. Haven't found those again, but I find these in the marshmallow aisle, and they are like the marshmallows from Lucky Charms. Love them for putting in hot chocolate. I can put them in regular hot chocolate, and they're marshmallowy. Or you can just eat them. We'll definitely buy again. Love those. Did you have anything to say about these? I wish they were fresher when I got them, but that's about it. Yeah, they tend to have a bunch of like smashed up bits in the bottom. That's annoying. You should go on to Amazon so you can find them there. This was devastating. This is the Celestial Seasonings Country Peach Passion. It's one of my all time favorite teas. I think it is your number one. Uh, it depends on my mood, but it is probably it's, my number one favorite peach tea. It's the one that. Generally, every time I asked you, you'd want it 85% of the time we had it, and you weren't trying a bunch of new novelty teas, you wanted this. This is your favorite, babe. I love this, and I went to make myself a cup of it the other day, and I opened it up, and there are no tea bags in it. That was really sad, too. It was one of the best ways to get her to be happy and smile. I don't know who, but somebody made a cup of tea of this, and then put it back without realizing there were no tea bags in it. So it's gone, and I am very sad, and I need more. Now, if you haven't tried this, try it. It's so good. I refuse to take any blame. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was me. This is Trader Joe's... Oh, I'm going to mispronounce this. The Abergavenny Creamery St. Ilted Cheddar Cheese with garlic, white wine, and parsley. So my mom tried a bite of this and really liked it. She really likes cheddar cheeses. Um, this was really good. Alex ate River Chill. She's been up way too long. She should have been in bed two hours ago. Um, Alex ate most of this. What did you think? It's delicious. 
Do I need to buy it the next time I go to Trader Joe's? No, I like that caramelized onion and garlic English cheddar a bit more, but that was, if they didn't have that, it would, I would want you to get this. Yeah, it's something we probably get again sometime, but it's not a must-have. Like, um, when I got this, we were doing a, for lunch, or late lunch, early dinner, we're gonna have a big pile of dips, breads, cheeses, and meats. It was so good. So this was great for that, if we did that again, which we do occasionally. It's very European. We just didn't have any wine. So yeah, there's that. Um, I just finished the last one of these tonight. This is the Tazo Unsweetened Iced Peachy Black um, Trig Pods. Um, I'm not huge on unsweet iced tea, and even sweet iced tea, I usually only like my grandma's. But this was nice to have around so that if I wanted something cold to drink and I didn't want water, I didn't have to have something in the fridge. I could just brew a pot, presuming that we had ice, which is not always a thing in our house. So I don't know if you can still get these. I got these a while ago at um, a bit and dent type grocery store down by my grandma's house. So this is something I would consider getting again if I saw it, but it's not a must have. I do have some um, iced mango green tea that's the thing. So what you do is you have a, like a plastic cup and you fill it full of ice and you put your Keurig on the small setting with one of these um, and you have iced tea. I had some of these before that were sweetened. That was really nice because they actually had no sugar in them. Uh, those I'd probably be more likely to pick up than the unsweet ones. You don't want to be on. You're being serious. But these were nice to have. Um, and we'll see how the mango ones go. We're almost done. I want her. Come here, River. Daddy wants you. Oh. Okay, here's mommy. And then these are one-offs that Alex's mom gave me. They're both Land Lakes. This is the... You got mommy. She's right there. This is the S'mores Hot Cocoa. Not really my thing, but I will... I mean, it was fine, but I wouldn't buy it. But I will say putting marshmallows on top definitely improved it. It was just fine. Um, this, however, is the Raspberry and Chocolate Hot mm. Cocoa. This stuff is bloody mm -hmm. amazing. And if I can find it, I will be buying it. I've had this before and I couldn't find it. If I can find this, I will be buying it. It's awesome. Um, and that's it, I believe, for our hot drink and snack empties for this round. I've got some um, cherry pod boxes that we haven't finished the pods for, so we're going to wait to talk about those. And that's it. Questions, comments, opinions, let me know down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You know what's funny? They're probably going to see this one first, and then all the other ones, even though we filmed this one last. Yeah, they're going to see me without my tea. Oh, and his battery's low. Okay, bye. <laughs>